Play Bench is commonly referred to as a benchmark test for AI frameworks, which assesses their ability to resolve real world GitHub issues. It was commonly introduced with Devon, which is another fake AI software engineer framework. Now, since the release of Devon, many AI frameworks were built and configured to tackle real world GitHub problems. And there is a really prominent framework called Sweet Agent, which was developed and introduced. Sweet Agent takes a GitHub issue and tries to automatically fix it using GPT-4, Omni, or your large language model of your choice. And just recently, they released the code and the research paper for it, meaning that you will now have access to the framework to tackle real-world GitHub issues. Sweet Agent resolves 12.47% of issues and it achieves the state of the art performance on the full test set. But now with this update where you can configure Sweet or Sweet Agent to run other LMs, it achieved a 36.60%, which is by combining Claude 3.5 Sonnet to this Sweet Agent. And we can see this is a remarkable score for an open source project on this leaderboard and this is something that is closely going up on par with amazon's q developer agent now i want you guys to take a look at this video which showcases what you can do with sweet agent hey my name is carlos and today i'm going to show you an example of sweet agent resolving an issue from github so we'll be looking at this issue from simpy which is an instance in sweet bench and we see that the user is reporting at this problem where this matrix operation call insert is producing some unexpected output. So it looks like a straightforward issue. We'll copy this GitHub URL and send this over to the Sweet Agent um, run script. And once that's going, we can, uh, we'll, we'll wait for about a minute or two, but we can look at an example that ran a bit earlier. So here we have Sweet Agent trying to resolve this issue, and it starts off by reproducing the, the bug that's reported, which is always a good first step. So it copies the code from that issue into a new file called reproduce bug, and after running that, we see that we have the same results that are uh, reported in the issue, with this problem being present here at the bottom. So now that we've confirmed that the issue is a problem, is still a problem, we can search the uh, search the, the repository for this call insert function to see where it might be defined, and the model thinks that it is defined in this common.py file. So we open this common.py file in the file editor, and we can look at the different functions that are present, and we identify the eval call insert as being a particular function of interest. So we scroll that into view down on line 81, and after analyzing the code a little bit, the model realizes that there's a problem with the indexing for uh, those the, the values in this matrix operation. So we generate an edit, which is then applied again to this function, which can be seen after here between lines 87 through 89. And we go back to our reproduction code to run that again and see how the output has changed. And we see here that the output is actually uh, represents the expected result. So it looks like uh, the issue is resolved. And we clean up our workspace by removing that file and finally submit what we think is the right solution. So that produces this diff that we can evaluate with Sweebench. And after testing on Sweebench, we find that this submission passes the initial test and it doesn't break any of the existing tests. So we can mark it result. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. So you may be wondering now, how can you actually get started with Sweet Agent and how you can locally install it? Well, there's actually three methods to install this. You can do this all in your browser. You can also install it from the source or run it in Docker. For example, if you wanted to run it in your browser, what you can do is run it with GitHub Cospaces. And they have a video tutorial which showcases how you can get started with just a single click. And in my opinion, this is possibly the easiest way to get started. You can also run it from the source where you just need to install it by cloning the repository and just utilizing Docker to get started with it. You can also run in Docker where they have a command that lets you do it. But in this case, what we're going to be doing is getting started with this by building from the source, installing from the source, and we're going to go through this and showcase how you can do that. So there's a couple of prerequisites that you'll need beforehand, and you need to make sure that you have all of these prerequisites installed. You need to download node.js, so I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Make sure that you also have npm installed, python installed as your programming language, 
Make sure you have VS Code as your ID to configure different .end components for your API keys. You need to make sure that you have Docker installed to contain the environment. And lastly, Git installed to clone the repository. So once you have all of these things installed, go over back to the documentation and I'll leave all these links in the description below. Once you have all of that installed, just simply copy this link over here, which is to clone the repository. Open up your command prompt. Once you have that open up, paste this link in and click enter. This will start cloning this. So as it's cloning, what you can do is click on copying this command over here in the meantime. Now, once it finishes cloning, what you can do is go into the SWE agent directory by typing in cd sui agent with a dash in the mid between the sui and the agent once that's done paste the command that we just copied it's going to start installing all the requirements and once that is done what you can do is simply run the docker pull command to start it up now after installing what they recommend doing is setting up a keys.cfg file in the root directory now this is after you have run this fourth uh, step command but what we're going to be doing now is just simply opening it up in vs code to add in our api keys so open up vs code click on a new window and open up the directory that you just recently cloned so open the file up or the folder actually sorry and find sweet agent so this will take a couple of seconds open the folder up if you cannot find the dot n file what you'll need to do is just simply open it up or create a new one and that's why simply just clicking right clicking on this click on new file just name it cfg and i believe that's what it was called sorry keys.cfg so just simply just copy this go back into this file rename it and then paste that in and once that is done what you're going to need to do is paste in the different keys that you want so in this case you would need to have a github token so that it can access your private repository and the choice of your large language model you can also use together ai api to access different open source plugins or even olama to utilize your local models in this case we're going to be just simply pasting in our open ai api key so what you can do is just copy these two and what you can do is just simply paste it into this file over here take out the hashtag which i forgot to take out and once that's done we're going to paste in the key in this parentheses and we'll get started with the next step once you have inputted all your api keys just simply click on save you can close this and go back into our main uh, installation file folder or the doc and what you can do is just copy this docker pull command and lastly you can paste in the docker pull suite agent command and it's going to start running this on your computer locally within a couple of seconds and what i also recommend doing which i should have mentioned mentioned before is setting up a, a virtual environment so the reason why is because it is contained in that environment and if you would like to do that just simply search up how to set up an environment it's super easy you would want to just set it up with conda and you can then launch this cloning in that particular environment and then you can start it up within a couple of seconds now to get started what you can do is basically start utilizing it in your command line and you can do that by just simply pasting in the run.py command into command prompt what you can also do is use the web ui and to start it up you just copy this command over here go into your terminal click in within vs code and click on creating a new terminal uh we'll go over to git bash and then paste in this command and click enter this will start it up on our web ui on our local host so within a couple of seconds i'll then have it loaded up and there you go you'll have it hosted on your local host and you're going to be able to basically go through different examples that have already been uploaded and you can also play around with it with the terminal and see how you can deploy sweet agent into your coding base and that's basically it for today's video on sweet agent i definitely wanted to make a new video on this because of this update where they have now released the research paper and where they made it so that's more configurable to deploy with different lms such as sonnet as well as many other open source lms so i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you take a look at the patreon page so that you can access our private discord make sure you take a look at twitter this is a great place for you to get different sorts of AI news completely for free. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. 
like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.